Hello everyone, I am Li Jia from Beijing Institute of Technology. I am excited to present my work. And certainly, we are suitable refinery for entity alignment. So, let's start our representation knowledge graph. What are knowledge graphs? Knowledge graph is a heterogeneous information network. And knowledge graph provides structured representation for semantic relation between real world entity, for example. A triple HRT represents a fact. Example, FL Tower is a head entity, is located in its relation. Harris is tail entity. What is the role of knowledge graph in machine learning? A knowledgeable searching engine returns better results. A knowledgeable person or system gets more things done. A knowledgeable recommender makes better suggestions. So, the more knowledgeable, the more intelligent. Knowledge graph is abandoned as heterogeneous data. In the IMDB, the actress name is Anashi. Here, in the Wikidates, the actress name is Anashi Pyunt. Are they the same person? A born and date of birth, the same. Yes, for human, but not for machine. What's the entity alignment? Entity alignment is the task of linking entities with the same real-world identity from different knowledge graph. A is the English invading space, and B is the French invading space. C is the mapping of the English invading space to the French invading space. The process is entity alignment. Usually, my focus on embedding based myself. This approach is learning knowledge graph representation and find entity alignment by measure the similarity between entity embedding. The mind includes the Tracy family. The Tracy based method represents the entity by modeling the tribes, which provide a fine grained relation semantic of knowledge. GN family. The GN base method represents the entity by recursively aggregating the feature of its members, which utilizes the global knowledge graph structure. And auxiliary family. The auxiliary family may add additional feature information based on the Tracy and the GN family. Limitation of the existing method. First, model are getting more complex. Second, more and more feature and integrated. Third, restrictions on C. In order to get rid of the limitation of the model on the seed, we introduce pseudo label to replace the seed. But this will introduce two new problems. First, the newly proposed pseudo label contains noise pairs. Second, if the training method of negative sampling is required to align the model according to the original entity, more noise will be introduced. We propose a novel and certainly aware pseudo label refinery framework which adaptively mine confident sample from a label data that will be labeled into trusted positive classes. Consider the existence of error in the pseudo label or novel non simping calibration strategy without any manually designed threshold is proposed to reduce the influence of noise labeled on entity representation learning. The drawback with pseudo label is that if the domain are not similar enough, it is not easy for us to obtain high quality pseudo label since the labeling noise might be too high to hurt the performance. Therefore, a progressive enhanced strategy is proposed to enhance the similar of the two domains. 
traditional method vs UPLR. First, traditional method need seed. Our proposed method UPLR doesn't need seed. Second, traditional method need negative simping. Our proposed method UPLR doesn't need simping. Our proposed model builds a gate graph attention network based on the great attention network and further develops a non-simping calibration strategy combined with a gradual enhanced strategy to optimize the final knowledge graph invading. These figures show the framework of our model, and our proposed model will be described in more detail below. When extracting entity feature, GAT is used instead of GCN. It is an advantage that GAT can implicitly assign difficult weight to different nodes in the neighborhood, avoiding the possible effect of noise propagation on nodes in the ground. The GAT model further enhances the effectiveness of entity representation feature vectors. Then the attention score here has captured the filter, the importance of neighbor node relative to the central node. However, only your neighbor message aggregation to train node embedding tend to introduce a lot of noise. Aiding the gas mechanism during aggregation is equivalent to letting the network structure decide whether to focus on learning on the information of the node itself or learning its neighborhood information. The practice effort is better in the actual sense with more noise. To my alignment, these results of supervised signal graph interaction divergence is used to measure source and target entity pair. GID is a cosine based similarity measure different from cosine. This is the similarity measure of neighbor nodes when calculate the similarity. In the UBA algorithm, an unsupervised algorithm is created to build a single label set based on the GID. For each pair of entity, we construct a row 6 and 7 to find candidate entity label pair and aggregate all my cross lingual knowledge graph entity pair into a pseudo label. non simping calibration strategy. This may not provide stable model performance due to uncertainties in the simping process. To avoid this drawback, we propose a non simping loss function. First, based on the idea of trans E, we assume that there is a relation between the source entity and the target entity. The purpose of the align is to make the relation close to zero. Second, the observed interaction are somewhat limited for pseudo-label data, where the number of an observed example is too high. To learn model parameters, we are inspired by a weight regression loss to a certain or confidence level with each prediction in the implicit data matrix. For pseudo label and the entire entity set, we build a non simping loss. We assume that entities not included in the pseudo label set are negative example, thus avoiding negative simping. Fusing them, LN is our finally. This is a gradual enhancement strategy it proposed to interactive building the entity pseudo label set and learning the knowledge graph representation. The goal is to optimize the pseudo label and improve the mapping between the two states. It agrees up to the pseudo label set and knowledge representation of entity are optimized to interaction T time. In the interaction process, updating the pseudo label set from new training model. Every interaction will be updated. We test our proposed model on the DBP15K dataset. DBP15K contains three types of the data Chinese and English, Japanese and English, French and English. The so mine result fall in three type graph structure models, graph structure and interactive learning model, and unsupervised model. As our submission paper, the best results for the supervised model is RNM. 
However, the basic version of UPLR is somewhat competitive with the supervised SOTA model. UPLR with directive learning is currently the best method achieving the results of the SOTA. In the above experiments, the overall effectiveness of the method is proved. In this section, we demonstrate the validity of each component of UPLR. UPLR has two novel design gas and iron. As shown in the table, the performance of both design is greatly improved. These application experiments show that the design is meaningful and has improved significantly. To further evaluate UPLR, we set four auxiliary experiments. To demonstrate the effectiveness of steel label from the results in the figure A, based on the occurrence of semantic information, we construct a random label this set. By comparison, it is found that occurrence of pure label is higher than that of random label, which proves that the steel label we propose are effective labels. The effect of different scale of semantic embedding on the model. The experiment results in the figure B show that the event with only 10% semantic information, our proposed model can still perform only super. The effect of different epochs on the model from the results in the figure C, we find that even without only one epoch, our proposed model can still achieve high performance. This may be because we do not have a negative same being state which allow our proposed model to cover quickly. We found that as the number of epochs continue to increase, the performance of the model decreases, which may be due to noise in the the impact of different interaction on the model. As shown in Fig G, our proposed model can continue to increase as the number of interactions increases. At a second interaction, our proposed model has the highest growth rate, which is attributed to the high quality pseudo label produced by the training of the first model. Conclusion. First, we break the dependence of entity alignment model on Second challenge of the solving the entity alignment task using pseudo label is to reduce the impact of noise on the model. We design two strategies to mitigate the noise problem. Consider the existence of error in the pseudo label or novel non simping calibration strategy without any manually designed threshold is proposed to reduce the influence of noise labeled on entity representation learning. The drawback with pseudo label is that if the domain are not similar enough, it is not easy for us to obtain high quality pseudo label since the labeling noise might be too high to hurt the performance. Therefore, a progressive enhanced strategy is proposed to enhance the similar of the two domains. In the future, we will apply our proposed model to more data sets. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Our code has been made public on GitHub. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact us.